Well, good Saturday morning. Things are already starting to crank up as far as our temperatures go. So taking a look across our region. Yeah, we see that sun out there. We see some haze from the Canadian wildfires out there still lingering around. Coming in pretty good today, so we are still dealing with several areas under air quality alerts. Not in our region, luckily, but eventually we will start to notice some more conditions coming in that may not be so favorable. So right now our temperatures still into those mid 60s for the most part. Harrisburg, Carbondale 65 along with Cape Girardeau down to the south. Ken at 73, Piedmont sitting at 69, so not doing too bad out there. However, this just in heat advisory now put into effect for our counties down in southeast Missouri. We have Dunklin County, Pemiscot. We have Lake County there into Tennessee. Now this is for now until Sunday at 8 p.m. So this is meaning that heat index values could even reach above 100, 105. So that's a feels like temperature compared to temperatures that eventually will be going into those mid 90s by later afternoon today. And again for tomorrow. So we're going to be looking at a lot of sun out there. Perfect for your pool conditions, but make sure that you're applying that sunscreen. But also keep an eye on the sky because we are going to be tracking not just the heat and the humidity, but we are going to be tracking more chances of showers and storms on the way. And some could be strong to severe, which we've already been tracking some of these. A line has moved through back into the upper plains there. Some are already severe warned, have been through the morning. They're eventually going to make their way here to uh, northwest parts of Illinois. But looking at the storm reports, Nebraska, we've seen some in Colorado, Oklahoma, all the way back up to Wyoming, some hail, tornado reports, some pretty large hail coming out of Nebraska, over four inches in diameter. That's pretty large. So <laughs> we're not looking at hitting us like that, but we are going to be looking at the potential for some damaging winds. But today we are going to be watching those winds gusting from the south over 20 miles per hour at times as temperatures really do in the daytime start heating up into those mid 90s. Again, heat index values are going to be up there, so it could feel like 100 degrees in some areas. Notice by later into the evening hours tonight, we're going to keep an eye on it. Our next system coming in the same system I just showed you. A few isolated showers will be coming in some thunder showers by the early morning hours Sunday. But as we get into our afternoon, this is going to be round two, the one that we're going to keep an eye on as temperatures rise back into those mid upper 90s. Winds still gusting at times. It's going to rise rapidly. We're going to be tracking that cold front moving through. Not all of us will see this rain, but we will be tracking chances of isolated to scattered showers and storms, some of which could be on the strong to severe side. So for today, the Storm Prediction Center giving us a level one for the entire state. The main focus being up there into Iowa and parts of Northwest Illinois. But for our Sunday, we are going to keep an eye on this bean shape there. That slight risk, that level two, pretty much encompassing most of our southern half of our counties, southern Illinois, most of our Kentucky and Tennessee, parts of our southeast Missouri counties. Again, for large hail, damaging winds, some heavy rain. You cannot rule out a tornado, though the threat for tornadoes is going to be low. Continuous to watch some of those chances of flooding. We're not going to be tracking a whole lot of rain, so uh, that's going to be the bad news for our farmers out there, but we could see some heavier amounts in any of those lingering showers and storms. So if you want to track all of that with us, download that Storm Track 3 app. It's free on Google Play and the Apple App Store, but we are still under Lightning Safety Week. It ends today, so the top three lightning deaths in the United States, 2006 to 2022. Number one comes in at fishing at 40 deaths, two along the beach, three boating, very popular things to do, and they're coming in at the top three deaths. And this year so far, we've already seen four. So four is too much, one's too much. And uh, so if there's going out for events today, you're probably going to want to not just watch out for the heat, but over the next few days, uh, chances of showers and storms. Well, and all of those things we do right here in our region. We beach, oh, yeah. there's lots of fishing and boating, and so all the more reason to make sure and keep an eye to the sky. Always. All right, thanks a lot, Emily. Well, we're taking a live look at 